finally got dry enough in here where I could start burning some of this stuff. Uh, all of that stuff right there. That's just stuff that I drug out that was laying on the ground on the other side of the creek there. Just crap. Anyway, uh, Bob should be in here, or Dan should be in here tomorrow. Uh, maybe we can probably finish grading this thing. Uh, it's really close. I want to, uh, that needs to build up another foot and a half, two feet, uh, up on top there, right where the smoke is. Uh, he's a little low yet. And then I'm going to bring it on down and create a spot for my greenhouse right there. Anyway, this, uh, I've been staring at that trash pile for three years. Finally out of here. Anyway, this thing is cleaning up pretty good. I got another trash pile down there where that tarp's at. Uh, I got one in front of the shop and then two down below from that tree I cut last year. And then all the trash is burned. And I'll do that in the next couple of days. Uh, it's pretty wet in here. Rain last night. Anyway, the fire danger is zero. This thing is cleaning up. Barn's looking pretty good. Going to cut those three trees right behind the barn. Those are going to go. All of that, all of that maple right there is going to go around the target and right down that wall there uh, for my fire barrier. Anyway, starting to clean up. Uh, Don should be able to probably get this mostly done today. Uh, this is all going to clean up. Going to take that tree right there and shove it over. I got a tree there, and I got a tree here, and that sucker just kind of right in the right in the road. So we're going to shove it over. I I didn't want to, but I'm going to. And then uh, this this will all clean up in here. Made a lot more usable space. This is really going to be nice. Dug out along the barn there, that's uh, all that wall's messed up. Anyway, should be able to finish this thing today. So simple. the finished results of the grading I had done out in front of the barn along the barn leveled all of this stuff out comes clear down a little drive down onto that lower section the lower section all straightened away uh, that's where I'm thinking fruit trees and grapevines the greenhouse is going to go about right there right out next to the bank uh, that's where the most sun is uh, this time of year and where the sun hits first thing in the spring. Uh, up in front up there I opened up a lot of room. Let's go look at it. Out here in front of the barn uh, I opened all of this up. Uh, this is all graded. Now you can come in with a load of hay or whatever, pull up, back the sucker into the barn without tearing the crap out of everything. Uh, opened up that side over there. I got uh, that brush needs to be removed. And uh, there's a tree I shoved down the other day uh, that needs to be cut up for firewood. Anyway, all of this makes this thing a lot 10,000 percent better. Now we got all this usable space. Uh, all we need now is more horses and uh, people playing with them. This is the finished thing out in front of the barn. Uh, made it level about three times further than it was. And then I took and dug out right here behind, took out all this dirt that was unnecessary. Uh, this, all of this up here yet needs to be graded and cleaned up. That's not done. But all of this turned out really good. Greenhouse is going to go right there on the right, right on the bank. Uh, that's where it gets the most sun. This is the area down below that I cleaned up and did all that stuff to. And right here, I'm thinking about fruit trees and that kind of stuff. The creek should stay within its banks now. I was always worried about it getting on the road, and it almost did last year. So that's all taken care of. Uh, now we got to figure out some way to create a pond down there. That's uh, another project for another time. Anyway, all in all, this thing turned out uh, 
in my opinion, pretty darn good. Anyway, uh, this is a little trail that goes down off of this thing, down to that lower section, and uh, so the horse can get up and down in the wintertime and get water. And then the uh, creek crossing itself, I improved it. I made it twice as wide as it was, uh, a lot smoother. Now you can come through there with a load of hay without, you know, killing your trailer and doing all that stuff. And uh, even in a big spring runoff, uh, is it ain't going to get out. I think I, I think I got it fixed pretty good. Anyway, all done.